Hey everyone, my name is Jura and today I'd like to show you how you can use BetterSign to easily electronically sign your documents. To do so, we first need to upload our PDF file. We can do this by either clicking the big plus button or by simply dragging and dropping our document in this big white space. Once we do this, we already started the job creation process. We can see that currently we're on step one out of four and on step one we will first do the first details. Here we can adjust the job name, which will then be used as the subject matter for the email that will be sent to the signers asking them to sign the documents. I'll adjust this to, let's say, agreement John, like this. Next we have the language of the signer. The language of the signer will be taken into account for the email messages, for the signing website and for the visual visualization of the digital signature. Uh, as we see, we currently have Slovene. As I know that John is an English speaker, I'll adjust it to English. Lastly, we have the document section. Here, we can either rename our documents, we can delete our documents, or we can add uh, additional documents. If I were to have, let's say, two to three documents, I could also adjust then the sorting order, but currently only the, the one document that I do have is enough for me. So I'll click continue. Next, we will be adding the information about the signers. We can add ourselves as a signer, we can add someone from our context, or we can do a manual input, which I'll do right now. So let's say that our signer is John, his name is Smith. The email to which the signature request will be sent is johnsmith at email.com. And lastly, we have the signature type and the authentication type. The authentication type always depends on the signature type, so we have a wide range of combinations that are possible. But for now, I'll just use the default option, which is the remote signature using the better sign EID and the password. I click Save, and John is already added. Click Continue. And now we're on the third step where we will be adding the signature tags to our documents. As you can see here in the left corner, we have John, and if we click on him, drag and drop, the signature, uh, the signature tag has already been added to the document. We can, of course, place it wherever we want, but I think this is a good spot right here. If I were to have, I don't know, more than one signer, I could also set the signing order, or if I would need to, uh, John to fill some information out, I have here input fields. But for this simple example, I won't be doing that, so we can just click Continue. Lastly, here we have the final details of our job. We can see who the sender is, so better sign demo. We can see who the signers are. We see the job title, so agreement John. I'm quite satisfied with that. And here we also see the option to add a message for our signers. So this message will then be visible in the email that they received asking them to, hey, please sign these documents. So here I will adjust it a bit and say, hello. Let's say, hello, John, please sign the agreement. Below. Let's say that this is okay. Next, we have the send copy. Here we can add any email address to which we would wish for the signed documents to be sent. So the signed documents will then be received by the creator of the job, so me, the people who signed the documents, John, and we can he here add some additional emails. So, for example, an information email, so info at email.com. Lastly, we have two final options. We have the job expiration and the reminders. The job expiration tells us how long our documents and signatures will be available to signers. The longest possible time is 70 days, which is also the default option. So after these 70 days, the, uh, the signers will no longer be able to sign the documents. So for my example, I'll set it to 14 days. And lastly, we have reminders. Reminders are useful uh, so that people who like to forget stuff can be reminded that, hey, you need to sign this document. And we can set multiple reminders. So let's say in one day, in three days, in five days after the job was sent, or perhaps maybe one day before the job is expiring. Because I know that John sometimes needs a lot of reminders. Oh, and here's also a typo. I quickly check. Okay, everything seems in order. And I click send. And that's it. The job has been sent out and now I just have to wait for John to uh, sign the documents and the whole process is done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.